What's your number one question for Mr. Smith? Uh, why the public was not informed uh, when this occurred. Uh, the company knew that it occurred in July and had suspicions about this as far back as March, and the public was not informed until September. I mean, I would like the answer to that question as well, as, as being somebody whose data was breached. I mean, I would have liked to have put a credit freeze on my reports much, much sooner. Um, but getting at the root of the problem, I mean, the company was notified of this breach in March, right? It was alerted to the breach on March 9th. On March 15th, um, their information security department ran scans that would have identified vulnerable, vulnerable systems. They didn't. What can we do at this point to really protect consumers' information when it comes to the root of the issue, and that is a companies um, just, I don't want to say incompetence, but failure to even react to a breach? Uh, I think it goes beyond incompetence. I think this might be uh, culpability. And as you know, uh, some stock was sold by those in the company before the public was made aware of this. So we're certainly going to get to the bottom of that as well. And moving forward, we want to determine how we can best protect the public uh, so that this does not happen again. Um, we talk about protecting the public and the public's information being breached, but the fact of the matter is, Congressman, that this business model isn't set up to serve the public at all. It's set up to serve the lenders and to serve the banks. And I understand that the public benefits from that greatly through uh, expedited credit checks, et cetera. But at the same time, there is no incentive in this sort of business model to serve the consumer in, in any way. Should a business model like this exist where a company is profiting off of consumer data that it doesn't have an incentive necessarily pr to protect because it doesn't serve the consumer? Uh, I think that's an excellent question and uh, perhaps in the future the uh, uh, model, the business model should be as you suggest and we're going to be asking questions in that regard as well. Uh, I just think it's uh, uh, unconscionable what occurred here, uh, particularly as you point out that this began in March. At the same time, the stock has certainly um, borne the brunt uh, of the fallout. Uh, it's lost millions of dollars in market cap. The CEO, uh, Richard Smith, is, is out, and there's an interim CEO who seems to me making a lot of effort to make amends with the public in terms of writing that op-ed in the journal and promising free credit protection services for life. Um, is it possible that the company has done enough? or no? Uh, I don't think the company has done enough yet and we will ask questions of the company today as to what more the company should do. Uh, yes, uh, the stock has gone down, but of course it's <laughs> gone down after this was made public and uh, there was, in my judgment, insider trading. There was, in your judgment, insider trading. So you're going into, that, into the hearing with that sort of um, mindset that something was done illegally. Uh, potentially. I, I'm a lawyer and I never want to prejudge the situation, but certainly we're going to be asking questions in that regard. And, and the subcommittee under the leadership of Bob Latta of Ohio uh, wants to protect uh, the consumers of this country. That is in our name, protection of, of consumers. And that is the principal goal. Uh, we bring before the committee Mr. Smith because he knows as much about this as, as anybody, but our ultimate goal is obviously obviously, is to protect the consuming public in this country. Sure. Uh, obviously, the, the target of the, of the hearing today and, and over the next couple of days is Equifax, but there are two other credit agencies out there. Should they be on watch? Should, should, they, should investors believe that the likes of a TransUnion and an Experian will also have to face some sort of change to their business model because of, of Equifax's uh, bad acts? Uh, let, let's uh, hope that uh, the other companies, if this were to occur, would uh, inform the public as soon as possible. I'm not suggesting that it has occurred, but as, as you suggest, maybe the model should change. But certainly the other companies, I'm sure, will be uh, monitoring the hearing today. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.